for people who are either going to go to a practice in Rochester or for people who follow, you know, every nugget of information they can get their their eyes and their ears on when it comes to this team, who are one or two guys that like we haven't discussed or maybe just generally speaking, whether it's you and Matt or other shows that not a lot of time seems to be spent on these guys, but one or two guys that like you're personally really intrigued by that you think could be players that are worth watching that maybe aren't necessarily getting the uh, the hype that some of these other guys are getting. Yeah. Tim settle. Uh, Tim settle is the first one that mm-hmm. comes to mind. I, I'm a big Tim settle fan. Um, you, you know, I've, I don't know why I've watched a lot of Washington commanders games over the last few years, but somehow I have, <laughs> and he's someone that always popped on the screen to me. And back in 2020, when I was doing uh trade candidates, he was, I wrote an entire article on Tim settle saying, listen, here's someone that is on a rookie contract for a few more years, a really favorable contract, but he's stuck behind an entire defensive line of first round picks. He, the, the opportunity wasn't there necessarily for him to win a starting job. Now, is he going to win a starting job in Buffalo this year? Probably not. You have Ed Oliver, you have Daquan Jones, who's that true one technique. Uh, but Tim Settle can be the first defensive tackle off the bench in terms of getting a lot of snaps in, in the Sean McDermott rotation, and he loves rotating defensive linemen. And he even showed the, off the edge at times with Washington that he could get after the the quarterback, and that's impressive for a guy his size. I, I really like Tim Settle from the player's perspective, what he brings from an energy perspective. Kind of reminds me a little bit of what Jordan Phillips brought to this team, who's now obviously here once again. Uh, offensive side of the ball, you know, I, I think he's starting to get talked about more and more. James Cook, I, I think maybe will be on the field sooner than even I expected when they drafted him. I always look at this, what this team has done over the, the course of the Brandon Bean, Sean McDermott era, and it's pretty much, if you're a rookie, we're not going to get you onto the field unless we have to. They didn't want Josh Allen on the field as a rookie, but they had to get him out there at a certain point when injuries took place. They had to get Trey White out there immediately. Uh, Tremaine Edmonds out there immediately because there were just holes on the roster there. But a lot of these other young first year, second year players, they ease them in. They brought them along slowly. Look at the first two picks last year. Greg Rousseau, Boogie Basham. There wasn't a need to force them onto the field when you had Jerry Hughes and Mario Addison. They were part of a rotation. They didn't have to force them on. You have Devin Singletary right now. You have Zach Moss to a, a, a lesser extent. But James Cook is is one the best pass catching back on this team already. He proved it at Georgia. He's had some moments in the spring. He's had some moments here early in training camp. He's going to have a role right out of the gate as a pass catching back. Now it's not going to be completely predictable. Every third down, you're going to roll him out there. You're going to get him out there on some earlier downs as well. But I thought the bills were going to ease him in. The more he impresses, the the faster I think he's going to get out there. And, And the one thing I'll say about him too, as a runner, he brings that burst. If he can get past that, that first wave of defense, I, I think that he can break off some really big gains. And he's coming from a Georgia team where he was not the the main back. They had a rotation of backs. So his legs are still fresh. You're not getting someone that is entering the league with all these reps under their belt. And, and um, that affects young running backs sometimes entering the league where they, they were the main back at their college for three, four years. That takes a lot of tread off, off the tires, so to speak. I think James Cook has a lot to bring to the table. And he's someone that's going to play a much bigger role than even I envisioned when they first drafted him. 